Hi guys, what's up? This is Navid here from navidplace.com. In this lecture, I will teach you how to put your picture in your website. For instance, you are making a website of yourself and you want to put your pictures, for example, your your wedding marriage ceremony pictures or your birthday picture or any picture or any kind of picture. If you want to put in your website, so this is the way you can put. So the first thing you need to do is to go in the website or Google and find or if you have your own images make sure that these images are in the same folder where your index and index.html is situated or where your website is getting me let's suppose if you have uh, for example if you have your uh, pictures are in for example pictures and uh, C drive E drive okay this is another way we will discuss in the upcoming lectures but in this lecture, it is necessary for us to keep our pictures in the same folder where our index.html file is situated. Now, I have I downloaded a one picture and the name of this picture is images. Now, one more thing we need to do before we put this picture or image in our website, we have to right click, we should do right click and go in the properties. In the properties, you find that this is an extension this is the very essential part that let's suppose if you don't know what's the extension of your file or your image if you don't know it will not it will not appear on your website so it is necessary for you to know what's the ex uh, what the extension of uh, you can say of your image so here we have dot jp dot jpg dot jpg so this is the extension and we will use now what I do, I will come in my uh, the page of the index HTML and here I will write IMG. What IMG stand for image? IMG dot SRC SRC. Now you can see here we have IMG. This is the word IMG. We are telling to our web browser that we need a image we need an, we need an image and here src we are we will give the name of our uh, uh, you can say uh, 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 we will give the name and we will give the path or location where our image is situated and for example in here here we have in the same so there we no need to give here just we need the game name uh, we here we just give the name and the name of this picture is images and as you remember we learn how to see the extension so here we put the extension jpg getting me so this is the image and if you want to see we'll go at the top of the notepad plus plus in the run we'll go in the launch in chrome so let's wait for launch let it be launch okay so see here successfully we have launched our picture website now what if, if you want to change the size if you want to change the height or width so if you want to change the height or width of your image what you do just write here width for example if you want to change the width if i say 15 pixels is totally up to you if you want to give pixels or just if you just don't write here anything if you want to give the height h-e-i-g-h-t height so if you want to give the height here you can also write your height You can see here the the size of picture has changed because we gave the the uh, you can say the width and height. If we put here pixels and also here pixels, so let's see what will happen. No, this one. So basically, if you write with pixels or without pixels, all will be remain same. So if you want to change the height and width, if you want to change the height of and the width of your, uh, you can say of your you can say a picture according to your need so you will use the attribute that is width and height as you remember in the last video we learned about attribute so this is the attribute and one more thing is remaining what if let's suppose if your picture is not showing because of any reason 
so you want to show to the user that there is some there is something uh, mess up or there is something wrong therefore it's not showing so you want to show the message to the you can say to your user so what do you write here is called alter for example sorry for example and uh, s o double s o double r sorry so let's suppose that if your picture because of any reason it won't show so this uh, you can say uh, uh, this uh, whatever is in the be between the double quotation mark uh, it will show up for example if I just change for example the name and if I just go there and if you can see here I should uh, bigger now you can see here actually the size and width was too uh, small therefore it's not coming so basically you can see here whenever our picture or image won't show because of any reason so whatever will be in alter it will show so basically it's all about images so what we learn in this lecture we learn the image tag and we also learn src stand for source and we will give the source and remember we have to give the extension also and we can also give the width and height and whatever if it will be between the alter tag or bet between the double quotation marks so it will show when something is wrong so basically it's all about images i hope you have understood for more videos you can come to my website www.navithplace.com so laugh is fear my